Sometimes I wonder why successful women leaders go beyond the ordinary. Ambition, competition, determination, disruption, recognition. Rosario Gonzalez, at a young age of 24, became the first Filipina to pass the competitive foreign service examination for Filipino career diplomats given by the Department of Foreign Affairs. Landing among the first 20 top-notchers in the 1958 bar exams. A full scholar at the Long Island University, Brooklyn, New York, she finished her master's in international relations and diplomacy. Diplomat, educator, Ambassador Rosario G. Manalo, retired as a career official in 2003, yet she has been called several times by various Philippine presidents to undertake diplomatic assignments, such as Philippine expert on SEDA, special envoy to draft and chair ASEAN charter negotiations, and many more. I had a wonderful opportunity to be part of the Helena Benitez Scholarship Program's initial class of Ambassador Manalo on international relations and public diplomacy before I went on to pursue my master's and PhD. Then and there, I knew what makes women leaders like the ambassador go beyond the ordinary. It is a palpable hunger for action, persistence and passion, thriving in meeting numerous challenges of living in a modern multicultural world. Now I know it is the decision to serve the dedication to be an able representative of one's country and the passion to lead proudly as a Filipina with a rich cultural heritage. Felicitations to our Dean, diplomatic icon, our Bayanihan president. We are proud of you. The great poetess Maya Angelou seemed to have you in mind when she wrote, the phenomenal woman, ambassador Rosario Gonzalez Manano. Hello to you all. My name is Amina Rasul Natangkop. Ambassador Manalo was my dean back when I was studying for undergraduate at the Philippine Women's University Helena Z. Benita School of International Relations and Diplomacy. I witnessed the meaningful work and initiatives of Ambassador Manalo that is in line with the objectives of the UN SIDAO. Ambassador Manalo wishes to promote the further advancement of women's rights in the UN SIDAO committee in the fields of women in politics and decision-making, women in diplomacy, protecting women's rights in the context of climate change, and lastly, something very dear to my heart, the promotion and protection of the culture, way of life, and the rights of indigenous women. If elected, I'm confident that with the demonstrated grit, passion, wisdom, experience and talents of Ambassador Manalo, she will do an effective and successful job that will positively impact and contribute to the betterment of the lives of generations of women across the globe. Ambassador Rosario Manalo, a diplomat, an educator, and a champion of women's rights. A woman with such an outstanding and distinguished diplomatic career happens to also be my dean at the School of International Relations and Diplomacy at the Philippine Women's University, or PWU. As a diplomat, she is known for sharing the drafting of the ASEAN Charter that has brought each and every ASEAN member state closer to each other than ever before. It was also through her efforts that brought human rights inside the ASEAN ecosystem. As an educator, Ambassador Manalo inspires her students to be the very best that they can become, for she believes in the potential of each and every student that undergoes her. And as a champion of women's rights, Ambassador Manalo has served as chairperson of SIDAO, and during her stay, she established the Gender and Development course in PWU. She has also brought to the ASEAN the principles and concepts of SIDAO to which the region now enjoys and practices. Having said that, it is without a doubt that Ambassador Manalo is the best candidate to be nominated for the UN SEDAO Committee. Her expertise, passion, 
and sheer dedication in advancing the role of women in society are worth considering in this honorable position. As students under the Master of Arts in Foreign Service Program of PWU, we know that our Dean Ambassador Manalo is strict, but this firmness that comes with her leadership style only reflects her commitment and passion for the art of diplomacy. Throughout her decades of service in the United Nations Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination on Women, she had displayed that despite the variety of feminisms brought by the changing times, it is clear that women should have the solidarity to advocate gender equality that not only benefits women, but everyone who have been subjects of discrimination. Truly, we believe that Ambassador Manalo is the perfect choice to represent the principles and the mission of this convention. Hi, my name is Fiona Sicanis and I've known Ambassador Rosario G. Manalo as my dean and my professor at the Helena Z. Benitez International Relations and Diplomacy at the Philippine Women's University. I was inspired by how excellent she is in discussing the multifaceted world of international relations and gave me a greater understanding of the global issues and real-life cases through the influences of culture and traditions. It was because of her that I became profound in tackling issues in the international arena and as a woman, empowered me to develop my own stance on it. And those are the reasons why Ambassador Rosario G. Manalo is the right choice for the expert in the Committee of United Nations, Convention on Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women.